the simple past. Very often, the simple past verbs end in ed, and we call them regular verbs. We invited them to our party yesterday. Laura passed her examination because she studied very hard. So invited and passed are regular verbs because they are ended with ed without changing the form of the verb. Changing the form of the verb that means a regular verb. For example, go went. Went is a regular verb because it changes from the symbol present go to the simple past went but invite in the present becomes invited in the simple past without changing the letters you just put ed and that called regular verbs did you call dibby yes i did no i didn't you did not call dibby did you note that irregular verbs in the past like go went i went to school yesterday we use a simple past in completed action use a simple past to express the idea that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past and highlight specific time. Examples. I saw a movie yesterday. Yesterday is specific time. I didn't see a play yesterday. Last year I traveled to Japan. Last year I didn't travel to Korea. Did you have dinner last night? She washed her car a few months ago. He didn't wash his car. So the, they're answering a question, okay? The question is like, did, you, did she wash the car yesterday? Yes, she did. Or no, she didn't. Yes, she washed her car. Or no, she didn't wash his car. Use number two, a series of completed actions. We use a simple past to list a series of completed action in the past to order things. Series 1, 2, 3, 4. These actions have been first, second, third, fourth. We don't know actually what happened first. Examples. I finished work, walked to the beach, and found a nice place to swim. There are three actions that finished, but we don't know what happened first or what happened. What happened first, we don't know. But they just happened sequence, in a sequence or in series. He arrived from the airport at 8, checked into the hotel at 9. And met the others at 10. Well, that's specific because the time is included. We know what happened first. Did you add flour, pour in the milk, and then add the eggs? We use duration in the past. The simple past can be used with a duration. Adoration is a longer action often indicated by expressions such as for two years, for five minutes, all day, all year, etc. I lived in Brazil for two years, specific time. Shwana studied Japanese for five years. They sat at the beach all day, from the beginning to the end, until they slept. They did not stay at the party the entire time. We walked on the phone for 30 minutes. How long did you wait for them? We waited for one hour specific time. The simple past can also be used to describe past facts or generalizations which are no longer true. The use of the simple past is quite similar to the expression used to. That you used to do something in the past when you were a kid like playing with the kids in the street but now we don't you don't do that anymore you grew up so you say i used to i used to play football with my friends on the street now i don't play football with my friends on the street but i play in a club also you can say i didn't used to something positive or negative i used to play or i didn't used to play more examples she was shy as a child but now she's very outgoing outgoing is the opposite of shy outgoing means like she likes to talk and to make friendship so on he didn't like tomatoes before did you live in texas when you were a kid yes i did no i didn't people paid much more to make cell phone calls in the past but now they use the internet for example they don't have to pay that much i used to play chess with my friends but when i was a kid i used to play chess with my friends when i was a kid the past of the verb to be am is are is was and where so it say he was she was, it was, we were, you were, they were. Thank you for watching this video.